picked here. Dingenthal showing an interesting lineup. Corky does come through for Nien, though, so looks like a lot of poke power for Fusion with a yeah. Scion to, to round it out. Poke power and Fusion also kind of all in on the mid game here. Back in base with an advantageous AD carry. Nien's already there with Triforce. Big Triforce power spike, Frozen Heart on Scion as well. Not a bad fight for Fusion. And they go for a Zingy, knocking about a half health, 800 on him. One more Q coming through, nearly going down, Nien. Oh, oh, not quite gonna kill him with the rockets there, and it's gonna give time for the AD carry of Dignitas to rejoin the fight. Pressure on this dragon. They're trying to draw Fusion in for something and hope to get a catch. Kiwi Kid! Of course, no flash out, forcing the heal as well for Nien to try to save his support there. A counter engage, and oh no, the knockup comes through and stops Valkyrie, and that's first blood for Core JJ. Great follow up by Dignitas. Yeah, that's the mid game impact that the Jarvan wanted to have. He burned his burst combo there. Kiwi Kid burned his ultimate. Now Dignitas tries to turn on the dragon. It does not like Fusion, wants to give this up easily though. They're gonna try, but they gotta be careful about their health bars. And this one is Zingy happy to tank out. Flash Body Slam knocks in no, Chunky Fresh. It's a pretty tanky sign, but Infinity Edge and Shifter Prophet of the ulti as well. Who he taking a bunch of pain. That will be a dead Urgot Chunky Fresh to buy a little bit of time, but he's got really nothing to do here. The Q knocks off his shield. Gonna be this engaged. 2 0 dig. The toss they've been able to mostly recall and head back across the map. Now Shifter, the guy around. Oh my god, that crit nearly takes out an intend dude amongst the chaos, and now the turret lead may actually be in Fusion side, but a Zingy coming to Chunky Fresh. He's gotta get the ultimate. Ooh. That's a Jarvan wall for you. Nice. Goodbye, Chunky Fresh. Get some damage down, pops the shield, but dies finally in the end. Point uh, is a good item choice, and Trans with a face check. Oh, man, goodbye. That's gonna be the first kill picked up. Nian Force run away. That's gonna be a stun landing, but nothing else to do. Dignitas could snowball this turret advantage somehow. Gonna look to the mid lane right there. Keep it flashing on in. A bit of damage in a Huhi, but a bit too tanky of a target overall. Does give them time to knock down the mid lane outer turret. And this should be the third turret kill of the game for Dignitas if they stay for it. One more auto. There it goes. Three turrets to two overall. The scoreline here. Uh, Here's the crazy thing, though. Yeah. Uh, Core JJ has 1,600 more gold than Oh, Nian. God. Which helps, but Quarter Jason bottom lane when Kiwi Kid gets swapped. And that swap on in right in front of the 10 dude X, and it's gonna be a bit of damage going back and forth, but the great Ooh. bind! Trance making that kill happen. Who he gets his first kill of the game. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna fight over the dragon here or just try and push them off the mid lane. Gamsu wow. is pushing, but they landed a lot of poke. Whole lot of damage comes through. Kiwi Kid tries to engage the moves, but not quite uh. stun who he, but there's gonna be an Azingi body slam flash. And the Jarvan ulti locks up to Trance. It is gonna fall as well. Chunky Fresh now on the retreat. Kiwi Kid can't quite catch more, but it's a three for zero overall. There is Smut up on the other side. Come on, guys. You can do it. Nintendo is equal level plus he's Nidalee. It's gonna be a very intense. 1400 okay. health goes in. 2000 HP picked up by a Zingy. Early Smite by Nintendo. Chunky Fresh can't pick up a kill either. A two for zero plus Baron. That's gonna be great for Dignitas pushes the waves with their stronger solos, uh -oh. or even catches someone like that. They got this one. Black Shield used, but intended already pretty low. Chunky Fresh goes to engage a fight. I'm not sure if they want it. There is no Gomsu, though. It is a 5v4. Zigzol comes in a lot of damage. Nian out of the fight without even doing anything. Yeah, and I think they're going to burn Scion's Flash as well, which makes this next turret siege may end up being a fifth turret. 14 Dinger Toss. Corky rejoins Scion close as well. Swap in for Huhi on the core JJ, but a Flash keeps Sever safe as Zingy buys some more time for the team. And Fusion will not find any kills in this engage. Meanwhile, Gamsu with a killing free takes down Nintendude X, chased out by Niantanzo, flashes away. Core JJ here to almost kill off Trance, but no wards let them auto attack or get their way back in. And Dignitas, we're well, just gonna go mid, dude. I don't care if you go Baron. Fusion should not be fighting this. Well, they're gonna do anyway. Kiwi Kid right in the back line, gonna stun a whole bunch of people, and nearly everyone is dead. Big Zigzolt, one for one. Actually, not the worst fight we've seen yet from Fusion, but now it's getting a whole lot worse. A triple kill for Core JJ. Will he get any more? Fusion, Ooh, nice flash. Pretty good at running away after this. This is a squishy Gamsu, so Nian. Put some threat down. No, looks like nothing else to get picked up here. Nintendo. Fusion very close to getting five kills there for Core JJ, but because they had the initiation, they end up trading oh. what looks like a three for two. Uh oh. Uh. Four for two. Four for Core JJ. And five for two. So I don't think Nintendo's getting away hit here since they did scout him out. Delayed pin to oh, kill. Oh no! Core JJ steal it. Ah, delayed pin to kill. Core JJ, the last two unassisted, kind of. So the mid siege not gonna happen for a while. Jarvan splitting top for a bit, but this turret might go down. They don't stay. 
Here's the engage, here's the teleport. Kiwi Kid once again goes for the ulti. They're gonna knock down Trance right away. A kill for Core JJ. Zigzo comes in a second. He is Seven kills in a row. Two down here against Ziggs Gragas, in which case they'd be able to force something. But if they lose this 2v2 as well, they're gonna be oh, able to they get one. They get one, and Shifter's in a 1v2 now. The inhibitor will fall. The rest of the base survives. This is like one of the best split pushes ever. 2v2 coming down there, trying to make up for that. Oh. It's become a scattered game here. Let's see if Core JJ Bell shields down, exhaust is on, but there's no ulti for Trance. Yeah. But meanwhile, Urgot and Corky are still fighting. This time they brought someone who deals a little bit more damage. Goodbye. There we go. And goodbye into the back lines as well. Chunky Fresh, the only man standing. Kiwi Kid doesn't do that much damage to support. He's like, buddy, you left me. Core JJ. <laughs> Core JJ says, we have super minions, dude. Let's win. There's 30 second death timers on everyone from Fusion. So while they did net an inhibitor out of their trade, eventually they get ran down because Dignitas has such a huge lead. That'll do it. Looks like that's going to do it. 12 0 and 5, the final score for Core JJ. He won him the early game and knocking turrets down. He went on the team fights with like eight kills in a row, and that's going to be GG. 36 minutes. Dignitas win game one on the road back into the North American LCS.